Um, I have just four slides I'd like to conclude with. You know, as, as Mark Yashinsky noted, um, uh, Tickley is sending a, a group down, and so we did not pursue lifelines in general. There's other bridge teams heading down. Uh, we had another group that uh, went down early and surveyed uh, many buildings, including other hospitals, uh, and uh, will, I think, later on uh, be reporting on non-structural components. Uh, their uh, early uh, conclusions are reported here. Um, but uh, with, with few exceptions, the, the anchoring and bracing of equipment uh, uh, was lacking uh, the, the structural implementation uh, in the design of, of many of these buildings. And there were many, many observed failures. Uh, this one, out of a, a department store that I was in, a very large air handling unit that had come down. Uh, there was a tsunami impacts team. Uh, I think we will, in a future reconnaissance briefing, be hearing more about what happened. Uh, what's the impact of uh, a container or a car or a boat flung against your building? Uh, and so a uh, very uh, serious uh, survey was done there, and I hope we'll hear more from them soon. Uh, the rebuilding of many of these small towns uh, will be very interesting to follow to see whether they're, uh, they're replaced with uh, in-kind towns or uh, what actually comes, what will be the social fabric there. Uh, we had a social science team, which I, I do hope we hear from soon. I grabbed one of their slides. I kid you not. This is one of the slides from the social science presentation. Uh, and th this group went to one of the buildings in Santiago that had been very badly damaged. Uh, they were invited to uh, come to a uh, condominium association meeting late one night, and they sat in and listened to what was going on in this building. And uh, some of the uh, condo owners who uh, did not have enough money outright to buy a condominium had taken out mortgages, and they had insurance. They wanted this building torn down. Uh, others uh, had decided they had enough money, they invested their life savings in these buildings, and they didn't want them torn down because they didn't have insurance. Uh, they, uh, in many cases, the construction company still owned these buildings, and they didn't want them torn down because it looks bad for the reputation of the company. So many uh, companies were fighting, and many of these buildings are only partly sold. Engineers want these buildings to stand so that there's a record of what's there. Uh, in case lawsuits are coming. So it's a very, very complicated uh, uh, situation socially uh, going on and economically as well because my understanding uh, in the most recent discussions with engineers is that uh, the prices, the value of these con condos is plummeting uh, rapidly uh, throughout Chile. And people we met on the streets said they, they didn't want to be in these buildings anymore. Uh, they wanted something else, and nothing, even if they were given a free condominium, would get them into these things ever again. So uh, I think there's an important lesson there to be thinking. Uh, very, very few of these buildings collapsed. They performed maybe as we intend them to form in, perform in earthquakes. Uh, but is that good enough? Is that really what uh, people are going to be expecting after the next big earthquake? And I think the chance to study how people respond in Chile is going to give us uh, many lessons on the social science side there. With that, I'd like to thank all the team members and the supporting organizations, uh, in particular uh, PEER, for uh, hosting us today and the Earthquake Engineering Research Institute for organizing uh, this reconnaissance. Thanks very much. Thank